Welcome back after so long to EDC Journeys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, hit subscribe and the thumbs up button. What is going on EDC people? And it's been a long time since I put up a video and I'm really sorry about that. I've had a lot of complications where I've had to be at the hospital for quite some time, but uh, I came back at one point, thought it was all set, and then basically had to go again for the, about the same amount of time. That's all setting done. So, let's move on. I wanted to put up a video just to let you know that I'm back. Back for real this time. And, uh, let's see, what do I have in my pocket already? Because, of course, I couldn't have anything in the hospital. I have the spider co. So what else is in the light? For the chef. All over. Yes, snow. Q Sun 264, beautiful. And some silipes. But I'm going to save those. I have new knives, two new knives, and another item, knife related, that I'm going to make a video about. Um, today and hopefully post it tonight if I can you know get back in the rhythm of things and remember how to edit <laughs> anyways I just wanted to thank everyone who stuck with me and didn't um, unsubscribe uh, I know it's been like three four weeks since I've been posting and I'm usually a big time poster I post a lot so I'm back for real this time and I've got plenty of stuff to talk about. And right off the bat today, we've got two new knives. So, thank you very much. Hope all is well. And I'm hoping you're having a good new year to start with. We'll talk soon. What's going on, EDC people? And what is our journey this time? First off, I want to apologize for the amount of time it's been since I made a video. Um... A lot of you probably know if you follow the channel that I've had some complications putting me in the hospital for um, what was originally a couple weeks and then it turned out to be a couple more weeks. Uh, long story short, it's uh, done with now and uh, I'm home, safe and sound, and I'm really eager to get back into making videos. Um, I lost a couple of subscribers, which I can't blame them, you know, I wasn't producing videos, but we'll get back up there. I just tried this coffee, it's supposedly the highest amount of caffeine or something that you can have in a coffee, I, I don't know how true that is, but it was definitely uh, highly caffeinated. <laughs> um, okay, well, first off, I, I just want to start kind of casually because it's been a while and uh, you know I'll show you what I've been playing with since I've been back we got our mascot and knife you know I have the TS-264 by Mazwan Mokhtar Tucson beautiful action just great materials um, the Lion Steel Bestman the PMP user, both great knives. Nice occasion slip joints, if I if you ask me. Uh, my, well, my my daily slip joint uh, pocket carry. Um, I did. Oh, I did get a um, slip from I believe Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and this was the medium size. This is the um, denim micarta work knife, which I think a lot of you might be familiar with. I'm using it just to kind of space it out right now, but or, you know, because it comes tight. But just to give you an idea of what the medium looks like with that particular knife, you know, I can show you. Let's see. Um, well, here. A lot of people have a good idea of what a Swiss Army knife size is. So that fits perfectly. The medium size, I think, is going to be the size that a lot of folks are going to like. Uh, why is it all blurry? Whatever. 
So that's one thing I wanted to show you was the slip that I got from them. Of course, I've been playing with my Spidey Chef since I got home. I've been using it for food prep as well. Not that I've had much time to do any food prep. Um, let's see, let's move right along because I do have two new knives. Nothing amazing, but pretty cool that I want to show you. My pair of three, my, my go-to EDC, when I don't know what else to carry. Old, old faithful here. Okay. So, uh, the first knife is a marbles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove this Star Wars cloth just because I think it's screwing with the the quality of the uh, the, the, bl well, the blurriness, whatever. And I'm going to move this up here. Okay. So I'll keep the slip on the screen just because that came with this package. This is the Marbles MR581. It comes wrapped in a little pa wax paper, or, you know, whatever paper nice high end looking there boom it's the uh like i think they call it a sunfish it is monstrous it's way bigger than i expected and i love it it's blue smooth or blue yeah white smooth bone with nickel silver pins nickel silver bolsters um, it's got that 440 razor sharp steel, so I am amazed at how difficult it is to pull out, though. It is like an act of Congress to get, and I don't know if it's going to loosen up there just to get to the half stop. Holy cow. And that's to the full. So I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't know if it'll fade out if you have this knife or if you have a similar knife. Let me know if you, how you how you deal with that. Um, is that a defective thing, or is that gonna that gonna work its way out? Um, but that's the main spear blade. It is huge. Or do I have a defective one? I do really like the knife, and I like the white smooth bone. I'll give you a closer look in just a second. Well, first let's get the weight. In ounces, five point nine. So nearly six ounces. One hundred and sixty-seven point nine grams. Um, so it's a honker. It's a big guy. Yeah. So look at that white smooth bone. The pins are are perfectly smooth. The nickel bolsters, nickel silver bolsters, are beautiful. Uh, they get fingerprints on them, but uh, they can wipe right off. The pins are all smooth. There's no transitions from the bolsters to the bone. Look at the backing on this. It's got brass aligners without one little bit of a gap. Nothing that I've seen late, you know, and I've looked at it pretty close. The only place that there's a little tiny step, where was it? And I had to look for it. Yeah, it was on this side, I believe. Yeah, over here. It's so minimal that it's it's not a problem. I, I wouldn't complain about that for anything. But take a good close look at that white smooth bone. It's really nice. I'm not going to dye it. I really like... I'm liking the white smooth bone. I just think it looks really sharp. And tell me you couldn't have this be... I mean, it's if, if you could open it a little easier than I am... Uh, this could absolutely be an EDC. You've okay, I'm sorry guys. I got a phone call. I have no idea where I was at with this whole story now. So basically, uh, this isn't a review, so I'm just going to move along here. I think it's a really cool knife. It is way heavier than I thought it would be. Um, let me check one more time again in uh, ounces. Again, just out of curiosity, let me plus let me close this monster blade. And if any of you know of any way to somehow legitimately like loosen that up, six ounces. Yeah, that's that's a hefty mother. But I'll tell you, it is EDC size, and it's it's smooth. That smooth bone is beautiful. It really, really is. 
I'm su I'm quite surprised by it. Okay, so the second one was another slip joint. It is a Rough Rider. It is missing. It is somewhere. There it is. It is the Rough Rider RR 1951. And I think that this one is really cool. <clears throat> Rough Rider Blue Smoothbone Sow Belly Trapper. And it has, it, it, I mean, it is, I think it's gorgeous. It's got really deep tones of like dark blue and, and black almost and turning into light blue. And, it, and it's, you know, the, the sides kind of match, but you can see the difference in the shading. I really like it a lot. I'm surprised. I'm not a trapper guy at all. And yes, it does open nicely. It is shiny steel. It's, it is 440 steel. Uh, razor sharp. <laughs> um, as it says. But it is kind of sharp. But it's 440 steel. But, you know, you can't beat the price. And what, uh, I mean, it's it's comfortable in hand. It really is. And, and it's a decent size. And then, just like any trapper... The other blade is the spade blade. But you can use that to spread your butter or do whatever you want. Um, yeah, I just, I really am intrigued by the, the bowing on this. Um, I love the, the, again, the pins don't stick through at all. They really, uh, I feel like they've upped their quality. Uh, surprisingly, considering how good the quality has always been. But take a look down the back line. There's absolutely no gaps on it. Nothing. And then the shield is a nice circle shield with the horseshoe that says Rough Rider. Um, I'm not sure. I think it just says RR on the sides. Uh, maybe it's a sharp. I can't see. I don't know my glasses. Okay. So in ounces, let me do that again just in case, but 3.8, I think. Yeah, 3.8 in ounces and in grams, 108.41. I think it is got to be one of the nicest uh, Rough Riders I've gotten, so, uh, and that's that's hard to say because I've gotten some really great ones from them, but something about the 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 blue bone and the shading it is like it's it's almost like mystical, if that makes any sense. Um, it looks really cool. It's nice, nice and easy to open. It's got a half stop. It's the shiny blade, so of course you're going to get the fingerprints every single time. Um, but I I could absolutely see myself using this knife in this new slip. Get all this stuff here. And I'll do a review of all these when I get some time and um, time with them. Uh, but let's see Yeah, I could absolutely see this being a perfect slip for it again. This is the medium slip that Rough Rider or uh, Smoky Mountain offers so just to give you a size comparison that is what fits It's still a little stiff But that's okay um, And you can see it's got a lanyard hole there. There's no lanyard hole on here, which is great Um the blades are nicely done. Looks like they, are they I'm trying? I'm trying to look through the camera to see if they're centered. The uh, they're a little off. They fit. They favor the right a little bit, but I think that they're fine. They don't. They don't really touch the walls. Yeah, you can see there's a gap there, but it's definitely a little sl slightly off, but nothing to be concerned about. And um, what's that little? Must be just a spot the bone didn't take the dye or something. But I really, look at the coloring on that. I'm trying to do, use natural light so you get a really good idea. I 
I am my apologies for being absent for so long. I am back. The videos will start rolling again. This was just kind of a quick uh, jump jump in video because I wanted to not only get a video up but explain why I was gone and uh, let you know that I'm not gone anymore. And um man and um those are the two knives look how large this looks compared to this i wonder let's take uh let's see what do i have let's, the spidey chef just for fun and i'll do it pivot to pivot basically I mean, you know, yes, it's bigger, certainly, but not that much bigger. I mean, you could absolutely use this if you like traditional style knives as an EDC. I, I don't see how you wouldn't with two blades. Um, the only question would be the blade steel, but you do have the two blades. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the uh, white, the, mar the marbles, white smooth bone sunfish? And the Rough Rider Blue Smooth Bone Sow Belly Trapper. I think it gives it that extra little up sweet that's kind of that's so comfortable in hand. And uh, I could see myself using this and, and showing it off too. The, the that blue bo stone or blue bone is just awesome. Anyways, that's what I'm excited about for now. I don't know what's going on in the community. I'll have to get on Instagram and see what's happening. Boy, you can see it's not it's not all that much longer. But it's hefty. Hmm. Anyways, there's the slip I got. There's the Rough Rider, there's the marbles, there's my logo. Um I've I've missed I have absolutely missed the community I really have it's kind of weird uh, but I've uh, I've definitely felt bad that I haven't been able to be on uh, and make videos and uh, I missed my daily chats with you guys a lot of you I corresponded with a lot and uh, in your eyes I kind of suddenly disappeared and it's a shame and I'm sorry about that. But it's over and it's done. So we're back on track. We're making videos hopefully every day if not every other day. Um, and uh, I've got, I'm, I'm looking at a rough, a new, another Rough Rider to order. Because I've got to keep the, you know, the, the Christmas time just went by. The, the budget's a little low. But if you have any suggestions on a Rough Rider that's in stock, let me know down below. If you have any ideas on how to loosen up the sunfish, for the marble sunfish, let me know down below. And in general, if you have any comments about the knives at all, or whatever, let me know down below. Okay guys, I hope you accept my sincerest apologies for not making videos lately and... Um, I absolutely intend on being back full time. This is what I love to do. I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing.